Judges 2, Judges 2, 17. Yet, however, they would not listen to their judges, for they would went whoring after other gods and worshipped them, turning soon from the path which the fathers followed, that of listening in the commands, not listening to the commands of the of the or they did not so they stopped following what the Lord wanted them to do. Oftentimes we can follow in this path. Who are we not necessarily following the ways of our fathers, our ancestors, but more following the way of God. Saying their ancestors followed the way of God, they chose not to. We shouldn't let those who come before us be an excuse to where we live. We should always be in the path of the Lord. Okay. Let's see. Philippians 4 16 through 17. No, 15, Philippians 4, 21 through 23. So it's closing out the book. Philippians 4, 21 through 23. Salute every saint in Christ Jesus. The brethren that are with me salute you. So he's saying greet, you know, um, greet Every believer in Christ, the brethren, the brothers, those that follow Christ. He's saying, greet every believer that you see for me. Paul had a heart for everybody, but a special place. We see his letters are never written to lost. They're written to Christians. He had a special place for those who accepted it. Those who didn't, all he did was share it. But those who did, he had other things to say to them. Um, verse 22. All the saints, this is the believers, not some high exalted thing. It's just simply believers. Salute you, greet you. All the ones he's been in contact greet with you. Especially they that are in Caesar's household. Now, it's interesting because Paul's trip to Rome allowed him the opportunity to bring the gospel to Caesar's household. His arrest allowed this opportunity, and it took time for it to change, but it would get big in the Roman Empire because of Paul's arrest and imprisonment and going before Caesar. We see how it's starting to change here. Because they greet them. Yeah, another thing is, saint isn't in scripture anything more than one that has been receptive of Christ's gospel, a servant of his. Verse 23. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, be with your spirit. Now the spirit we gain is the Holy Spirit. And grace is not getting what we deserve. Because we deserve bad things. But through what Jesus did, he gives us not only the Spirit, which we don't deserve, but he gives us life through him eternal. And when we become a believer, when we become a saint, we're given this. And it's the greatest thing he could ever give us. And we don't deserve it, but he gives it to us out of love anyway.